I'm Mr. Byer, first degree black belt with the Blue Room Ninja Studio. I started ninjutsu because to me it was a it was more of the sneaking around, the assassination, you know, gathering intel. It intrigued me. I, it was something I really wanted to do growing up as a child. Options were limited, so I got on the internet. I started to uh, look up names, look up ninjutsu, and I come across uh, Anshu Krista Jacobson. And she lives here in Kansas City. I live in Wichita, which is a couple hours away. So that was my closest option, and what she had up on the website, you know, looked promising. So I contacted her, and then we started. When I was a kid, I uh, <clears throat> I always went to the local store, and they had the Ninja magazines, and, and Stephen K. Hayes and Robert Bussey was in there. And he had an address in there to contact him, and I wrote him a letter pledging my allegiance if if he would take me on and train me in ninjutsu because I truly wanted to learn yet he did not respond to my letter so I moved, continued and moved on with my life and continued searching for the right master uh, it was rough I mean you have to uh, you have to be dedicated there's it's not an off and on thing you you need to really focus a lot of energy and a lot of training, a lot of time and studying to to obtain it. And it was it was a long road. It was a rough road, but it, in the end, it was promising. Yes, I faced a, a heavy one. It was uh, you know I'm family and. A career and it was it was hard for me to uh, to sit there and look at you know is this something I really want to do and I had to basically come up with the answer to that and I did and I said you know what this is something I've always wanted to do this is something I truly want to do and I'm going to continue doing it A lot of the Tomoru camps have been some of the best and fondest memories. Um, I have a lot of them. Just coming up here and, 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 and training and, and learning and my black belt test was a, was a great one. You know, I learned so much that day about myself and about my peers. Very difficult. I, I got my ass whooped. <laughs> I. It took every ounce of energy just to maintain and keep my composure. It was it was very very difficult. Yeah, uh, yeah. The, the training is 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 great. It, it, to me, it's bringing all that uh, the old way of doing it and bring it to the modern day. You know, we don't use swords now. We use guns, and it's the same it's the same concept. And I, uh, yeah, I, I enjoy that. is to one day open up a great school and to uh, <clears throat> to be able to honor the Buddha rule and having great students and being able to to watch them grow and like as I did and be able to learn as I did and have that experience and become a great sensei one day like like Anshu. Absolutely. I, I, today I do, I, I take what I learn here and I apply it to being a parent and to being a, to being a husband and, and to the hopes that they, they can see, can see where I'm coming from and see the, the greatness in, in what I do and why I do it. Yes, I, uh, it has helped me tremendously. I can, you know, I'm, I'm a much better person than who I was six years ago. I, <clears throat> I'm a better parent, better father. I, I take my training and my career more seriously, and even in, within life in general, I learn to accept certain things that I cannot change.
The person I was in the past was more of a person who did not care. I made lots of money off the pain of people. Um, it was more I just didn't give a on who I hurt and why I hurt them. I just did what I had to do to survive, to make money. I was an alcoholic. I was a cocaine addict. I, you know, I did what I had to do. I lived the persona. I lived the life of a gangster. You know, uh, you know, it was it was more of a take them out before they take me out. I didn't care. You know, and being an alcoholic, I drank all the time. I drank from sun up to sundown. I uh, <clears throat> didn't have any, any worry for my family at all. It did, I had no purpose in life, really, to, for a good life. I just lived in the now. <clears throat> and that was, uh, that was it for the most part. It's, it's rough, it's hard, but it, it gives you something to be proud of. It, it gives you that, you know, as, 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 as for me, I was, you know, I was looking for that one thing that I could always go back and say, I did this, this is something I did, you know, to, to make my children or family, to be, so they'd have something to be proud of me. And I would say it's rough and it's hard, but stick with it, you'll find the rewards in the end you'll notice that you'll start changing and things will get better. But you gotta just, you gotta buckle down and stick with it. Stay strong.